Hey everyone, Christian here. This is going to be a little bit of a vlog of, of the differences between a true coconut and Beccario Phoenix Alfredii, known as the high plateau coconut, um, or cold hardy coconut. But it's more important to call it Beccario Phoenix Alfredii. So um, I have done a vlog on, on Alfredii. I don't think I've done a whole lot about the differences between th uh, this palm and a coconut, but I'm going to I don't know if I touched on the fact of, of where the name came from. So, um, Beccario Phoenix is uh, a genus that was named after uh, Beccari, who was an Italian botanist. But Alfredii is named after, uh, the, the Alfredii part is named after Alfred Refana Izara. I, I can't pronounce his complete last name. It's a Malagasy last name, but he started finding these seeds and uh, bringing them into uh, cultivation. He's recently passed away, but he was a great, uh, um, you know, he, he was an excellent contact and person to, to uh, proliferate the Malagasy species. So um, the, this palm is in memory of him. So anyway, back to the uh, Alfredii. So you can see here that it has, the, the leaflets are very coconut-like. The pinnae, if I were just to take uh, a video of this, you would think you're looking at a, a, a coconut frond. Uh, the pinnae look almost identical. They uh, fold backward, and you can say that they're uh, concave. Sorry, let me let this. It's garbage day in this neck of the woods. But um, so, and, you know, these emerging leaves, they, you know, they look very similar to that of a of a coconut. Um, now, the differences are going to be that where the coconut has a much finer fiber here right at the base of the crown you can see this is a much denser I mean I'm sorry much thicker fiber this is not this weave is kind of uh, how can I explain it's you know the, the thickness is going to be four to five millimeters versus like one millimeter on a coconut and it kind of comes up the petiole where this doesn't happen on a coconut at all usually the fiber only exists on the crown and the base of the trunk where it meets the trunk this one doesn't quite have any trunk yet but you can see on the old other old petioles old petiole bases, all that very thick fiber about it. So um, another aspect, and this one's kind of growing out of it, but when they're younger, the Alfredi eyes will have this purplish color. We got some wind going here. Got some, have some purplish color on the bases of the petiole. You can see how it's kind of off green. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that uh, out of the sunlight, but if we go and move around here a second, um, there's more sun on this petiole. And you can see how that color is sort of present there. It's a sort of silvery purple. Um, when they're younger, they have it uh, to a much greater extent. So the other uh, thing that Alfredi eyes have, uh, everything about it is slightly bigger than a coconut, except for its actual seed. Obviously, coconut is a massive seed. Uh, Alfredi eye seed is only about half an inch wide and a half, you know, maybe a little bit two thirds of an inch long. Um, so uh, coconuts obviously are, you know, six to 12 inches long and or wide. So uh, that's gonna be a major difference. Obviously this is not going to produce big seeds. Um, this trunk will just start kind of growing upward, almost like an Adelaide does, where it does kind of gives this vol volcanic effect of just erupting out of the ground. You can see how vertical this is actually getting. The top of the fronds up here, that's pushing, you know, 15, 16 feet there and uh, you know, it it does give a nice presence. Now, it, a few fronds that have been cut off, but for the most part, it does have more of a uh, vertical viewing to it, I guess you could say, versus a regular coconut, which will hang, will have more pendant uh, fronds, meaning they'll hang more towards the horizontal. So, um, but the, the reason this palm is so popular is that from 20, 30 feet away, uh, basically, it looks almost identical to a coconut to 95% of the population. And when you plant these, they they're, they just, they take a lot of, they take the same amount of beating a coconut does, except it actually takes more. Um, they are salt tolerant, but they're much more cold tolerant by probably a factor of almost an entire zone where coconuts can take short durations down to like 29. Um, and I mean, it's still kind of sketchy then. Uh, this can take, you know, a quick dip into the low 20s, maybe even upper teens, uh, and still come through, probably with sunburn, but 
uh, they should still be good into the 9A zone area. Win in the, win in the ground. Now, if they're in pots and it's you know 25 degrees, the pot can freeze. And I'm going to discuss that uh, pot culture versus um, you know in ground culture. So uh, that's why this palm has become so popular among collectors and also among people who want to try and uh, push the zone in their area. So I had a little bit of a seltzer break there. And um, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch on why Alfredii is so, it's such a great, Bricario Phoenix Alfredi is such a great palm all around. I mean, it grows in full sun. Uh, it looks like a coconut. It has that very tropical look about it, but it has all the hardiness that we, we wish coconuts had. But in retrospect, if you look at, uh, if coconuts were, were, were hardy to, say, zone seven, they may not be seen as tropical and their their allure would not be around. So that's sort of why the coconut keeps that allure, why it's so popular. Uh, it reminds you of a tropical destination. If it didn't grow, if it grew in, in your area, you wouldn't think of it as a tropical plant because it, I mean, if you lived in zone seven or six for that matter, um, but hence, you know, the allure of it. So I'm getting a little bit off topic. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video did give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel um consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification i do go live once a week maybe twice a week and uh if you have any questions about uh alfredi I versus coconut uh differences go ahead and leave a comment down below and i will get back to you guys and gals as soon as i can and thanks for watching